what I do every morning is I sit down, I have a beverage, and I read. I watch and I listen to uh, news and stories and reports from around the world. I love being on top of uh, trends and headline news, but also getting to have little glimpses into the way people all over the planet uh, and beyond are uh, incorporating my favorite art form into their lives, and that's beer. Um, so I consume dozens of stories spanning uh, the malt beverage industry, um, science and developments with uh, yeast and water, uh, alcohol regulation, uh, and also you know our, our social changes, uh, art form for our label designs, um, environmental things you know as well, uh, recycling that's part of our industry, uh, and and so on like like how governments. Um, in, in other countries outside of the, the, the big national ones are uh, regulating one of the fastest growing communities of creatives on this planet. Uh, mostly, uh, I like it when someone sends me a, a story and I can, you know, like, oh, Stone Brewing and Metallica are making a beer. And I can say like, yeah, me and the people in the beer community, uh, we sat down and we talked about that a couple days ago when it came out. And you know, we have all of our jokes, you should come and talk with us because then you'll understand why we keep making jokes about fizzy yellow beer. So mostly uh, what I like to do is I, I like to share these stories with you so that you too have something to talk about you know, from the news other than just Brexit and Trump and natural disasters and stuff like that. Although that will be, uh, we'll talk about that too. Beer is, is wrapped up in that and pretty much everything on the planet, as much as it is just in your local community and your own beer releases. So this is my passion project, and um, I hope that it enriches you as much as it does me. So welcome to morning beer. Coming up, but first, can we please get to the beer part? Dino S'mores from Off Color Brewing, Russian Imperial Stout. It's a 10.5% ABV. It gives you the, the gravity and the IBUs in there as well. It basically gives you the entire uh, lineup. It has all the malts, the hops, the secret ingredients. Not so secret. And then uh, they said they made this with their Danish friends, Amager Brohas. Uh, not so Danish friends as well, and Westview Liquors. Uh, they're out of Chicago, Illinois. And I honestly have never had an off-color brewing beer. Surprise, surprise. I got this little baby glass because I thought I would just sip it. <laughs> My God, right out the bottle. Delicious s'mores aroma. It's this kind of smell that, um, that I love waking up to. <laughs> it's not Folgers, folks. It's dino s'mores. Unfortunately, that's a smell that a lot of people don't get to have. I don't mean s'mores, of course. I mean the beer. So there's Lahore Airport uh, in Pakistan that's going to be allowing some people to have liquor and beer. And I mean only some people because this is only for non-Muslims and non-residents. I don't know how they certify if you're a Muslim or not. I don't know if you're a lady with a head wrap, if they're just going to tackle you if you're buying beer at the airport. I don't know. Bad thing is, is that this is metallic. Like... If you let cereal sit in a plastic bucket for too long, there's no date on this uh, that I see. Next up, let's go a little local. I live in Portland, Oregon at the moment. That's where I'm filming this. And uh, the, <laughs> came across this little story, the Rip City Ale Fest. Certainly the place to be. Yeah, I love that it actually is a pre-game event. You go to the Ale Fest. If you buy your ticket online right now, you get a ticket to the game that starts at 7.30. So as soon as the Ale Fest is over, which is in the Memorial Coliseum, you just walk 
across right the across Center. Right pathway, absolutely. That's so fun. And yes, lots of fun games, including Giant Jenga. I feel Center like we should control. We're going to have 15 of our breweries. We have Widmere. We have Miller <laughs> Coors. We have Budweiser. Oh, so we're, there's going to be a lot of that. We're going to have live music. Now, can any of you tell me why I am firmly suggesting that nobody buy tickets to this? Yeah, the commercial side of it. Uh, sure, it looks like a lot of fun in these pictures, but something, it's commercial. I'm sure they're not all ales. I don't know what you're doing. It's not an ale fest. It's a propaganda thing. Uh, kudos to the smaller size breweries that got to be part of it, but as you can see, this little caveat here in the bottom, they might not even be there. Who knows? Uh, ignore that. Don't go. Unless, of course, you want to, in which case, don't listen to me. Just go. Uh, staying in the United States, a Washington, D.C. brewery is suing the acting U.S. Attorney General over its inability to sell labeled beer during the partial government shutdown. We see our labels as a form of speech. That's how we speak to our consumers. Justin Cox, founder and CEO of Atlas, told Ekist, We're unable to exercise that right without approval from the federal government. A number of brewers nationwide are feeling the impact of the shutdown on their product, but Atlas is the first to sue over it. They are trying to pull in their First Amendment rights to be able to self-express, and hey, kudos to it. If they just release that beer, maybe they won't get in trouble for it later. Meanwhile, in Russia, over 3,200 post offices across the country will be soon incorporating uh, the sale of beer. So the main focus is on rural branches, and it seems to have a couple people up in arms about it as if they're upset their post office is going to be turning into like a mini mart smelling, selling kebabs and, uh, I don't know, soft drinks. But hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? Fuck it. The government came back with a statement saying, hey, a lot of people die from unregulated alcohol every year. Uh, this is regulated and safe. And also you can get your stamps. Why are you complaining? I want my post office to serve beer, for the love of God. That's all that came across my desk today. If you have any stories that you think uh, we should feature, then uh, shoot me a line. Niche at tastingniche.com. Uh, if you want to chatter down in the comment box below, I'll probably hang out for a little while after posting. Uh, I'm just going to leave you with this pretty epic video of a Russian guy. I think he's real. He could be a cartoon, uh, but he really, really hates imports. So he crushes cans of import beer like, Arrah! watch. See you tomorrow. Let's go, let